In this video, we'll share our ideas on how to create an effective training video on your own, focusing on the presenter style video. So what's a presenter style video? This type of video shows a person who addresses the audience directly through the camera as if they are in front of each other. Let's look at some steps you should take in order to create a great presenter style video. The very first thing you'll want to do is prepare all your materials. This includes writing a script or making a list of key talking points for when you're recording. You should also prepare your PowerPoint slides, demos, and other content items that you're going to use while capturing the video. Step 2. Set up the recording environment and then go to iSpring Suite, which is a great and easy tool for recording screencasts. Make sure that your camera and microphone are connected and ready to go. When you open your video recorder, it will automatically detect any connected devices. In general, the presenter's overall image should be neat and not too eye-catching. You want to look the part. And make sure you choose an appropriate background that isn't too distracting. Step 3 is to make a test recording. You don't want to go through the whole process just to find out your sound or video quality isn't good. You can choose between recording your screen, camera, or both. Since we're making a presenter style video, let's switch over to just camera. When you're positioning your camera, use the rule of thirds to make sure you have a nice frame. This is a basic principle that helps you to compose interesting and balanced shots. If you place your subject where the lines intersect, you'll end up with a more attractive shot. Before you start recording, you can change settings like preset. The microphone is turned on by default, but you can turn it off if you like by clicking on the speaker icon. Okay, we're ready for our test. Select the red button to begin recording. First, Record a few seconds client. with talking, Their then click Stop company website or F10 when you're done. Great! Now let's play it back to make sure it looks good and sounds good. First, you need to research your client. Looks and sounds good to me. I think we're ready for step four, recording our training video. Do a quick run through of your script or talking points, adopt the right posture and click the record button. First, it's important to, to let your videos clients. not run Their too long. Six minutes is ideal. The more you know about when your you client, stop recording, your video will open report. automatically Second. in the iSpring video editor. Okay, now that you have your video recorded, Step 5 is to edit it. Begin by trimming out all the unwanted parts from your video. Just highlight the section you want to delete and then select the delete button. You can also remove background noise through the entire recording by selecting the audio and choose the remove noise button. With a fully cleaned up timeline, you can move on to the fun part, adding other kinds of content. iSpring Suite allows you to insert additional video and audio as well as pictures, text, and shapes. Let's add a shape and text here. If you're adding pictures or other visuals into your training video, or want a smoother cut from one shot to the next, you'll need to add transition effects. I like the idea of this smooth fade. All I have to do is drag and drop it where I want it. First, you need to research your client, their social networks, company website, and other information. The more you, you can also enhance your training video by adding music to the background or just insert it at the beginning and end of the video to engage your audience. First, you need to research your client, their social networks, company website, and other information. Once your video is ready, you can start training your employees. To make your video available for colleagues, publish it. You can publish it to your computer or directly to iSpring Cloud, which is an online service for secure hosting and sharing your presentations, or iSpring Learn, a learning management system, or even straight to YouTube. I'm going to publish it to my computer today. First, you need to research your client, their social networks, company website, and other information. Remember to mix your training videos in with other learning activities to keep things interesting and fresh. With iSpring Suite, you can create not only training videos, but also knowledge checks, conversation simulations, or other interactive activities and combine them into one comprehensive course. 
And that's how to create an effective training video using iSpring Suite.